Joining me now here on the MMA Report is a man who's going to be looking to go to 7-0 and in his career coming up on Saturday, April the 1st, just down the road from where I live in Tampa. In Sarasota, Nick Rorick going to be taking on Jesus Rivera, a change in opponent from his original opponent. But uh, Nick, I appreciate the time. You uh, started off as a heavyweight in the sport, moved down to light heavyweight, and my understanding is basically you end up moving your training out to Denver and then magically... Uh, not too long after that, 30 pounds just kind of shed off your body. <laughs> yeah, no, it definitely did. Yeah, once uh, once I got out here, I uh, kind of cl- cleaned up the diet and uh, stepped up the intensity of the training and just the uh, weight just started coming off. So just kind of went with it. So was it just simply the, the training and why you decided to leave Florida for, for Denver? Uh, yeah, well, actually, uh, I'm was i I'm from Florida, Orlando, Florida. I was in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, and uh, – I, uh, I saw what they were doing out here in Denver with the Elevation Fight Team, and I know Dwayne Ludwig was out here, and I know some of the some of the best training out here in the world is out here. So I uh, I uh, had an opportunity, had some friends staying out here. They told me uh, to come along, so so I came out and gave it a try, and uh, it's working out great so far. Obviously, Elevation Fight Team is a team. Yeah, uh, you know, I guess over the last year or two years has really gained the notoriety. A lot of uh, guys have, have ultimately come out there. What what about that gym made you realize that it was a place for you to be at? Um, I mean, it's it's uh everything about it. The Muscle Farm, the the facility, Muscle Farm sponsors, and uh, the muscle the Muscle Farm facility is amazing. The coaches, the the training partners as well, man. It's just uh just everything about it. I mean, when you're you're training next to world champs and you're you're training people that are that are where you want to be and and you're seeing how they do it and it, uh. Really, uh, just that whole atmosphere, uh, kind of the the rising tide, uh, rises all ships. So it's uh, it's it's kind of it's it's just good to be around that kind of that energy. Do you see a certain characteristic from the for the guys that are in the UFC? Of is there something that you kind of notice that they all have and why they are at where they're at? Yeah, it's it's a work work ethic. I mean, that's it's all of them, all everybody that has it. Everybody at that level has it, and uh, it's it's very it's, it's inspiring to be around. We have uh, you know, seen you uh, around Curtis Blades. You're one of his main trading partners. You, you've been with him in his corner. Uh, you know, and obviously Curtis off to a tremendous start here in the UFC. What, what have you taken from him? Um, you know, a guy that obviously was, uh, you know, he was where you're at at, at one point and you're trying to get where he's at. Uh, what have you learned from him? Um, a lot of just the intensity he turns on once he's in the cage. I mean, once, once he gets in there, it's uh, actually no, watching it happen just uh, – it's all business once he's in there, and uh, I mean, there's no hesitation when he sees the opportunity. He takes it, so that's uh, it's something I, I, I'm trying to emulate. It's a it's a good good trait to have, especially in this in this game. We're fairly early on in 2017, but this is going to be your second fight of, of this year. Uh, you know, a fairly quick turnaround from January to here. Was it just simply uh, the opportunity was there, and you're just trying to get as much experience as, as you can? Yeah, yeah, it is. It was a. Uh, there's a. It was the promotion in in Florida uh, combat night, and it's a. Uh, it was a. They're probably the. They're the biggest amateur promotion in Florida, and uh, like I had, I'd won their heavyweight title like when when I first started, and I know they put on a, a pro card in in Tallahassee, and uh, what the promoter contacted me and he told me uh told me there's an opportunity to get on it, so I was like, yeah, might as well. I mean, I'm uh just trying to stay active, and once I once I did that, he contacted me soon after and told me there was another one, so. So let's just keep it rolling, man. I just want to try to get to the, get to the big show. So in the meantime, r- rack up as many as I can, get as much most experience as I can before I get there. And of course, this is a brand new opponent you have here in Jesus Rivera. Uh, you know, some guys will say that uh, you know, look, a change of opponent it can happen at any point. It can happen six weeks out, two weeks out, a day out. So uh, a lot of guys say you always have to worry about yourself. Is that kind of the way you look at the fight game at this point? Is it's about me? It's not about my opponent. Yeah, yeah, definitely. At this point uh, in my career, I mean, it's uh, and at this level, it's it's. I just go and uh, implement my game plan, implement my game plan, and and uh, and just uh, try to assert my dominance and uh, just win, win, just keep winning, man. It's uh, I mean, it's really. I'm not worried, really worried too much. I don't know much about him, so it's like I'm not worried about too much of what he's gonna do. It's just it's what I'm gonna do. And, uh, they always talk about uh, the evolution of a fighter, you know, not mm-hmm. just fight to fight, but, you know, day in and day out, just your training. How are you, how are you different as a fighter now, as opposed to even say six months ago? Oh, I mean, even from, from six months ago, it's uh, just the, the training, uh, training smarter. I'm um, really cleaning up the techniques, working on actually like getting good game plans and not just going out there and just, 
and winging it and doing, trying to do whatever. I mean, it's a, there's actually learning the game um, from here and, and learning from great people. So like 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 Dwayne Ludwig, um, Ludwig going to to the gym, Ludwig Martial Arts, and uh, just the small things, man. It's it's you don't realize how much you don't know until you meet someone that actually that really does, you know. And it's a uh, it's a uh, just just every day it's a learning experience, and uh, man, I'm loving it. You mentioned about training smarter. You know, it, it, when you say that, it makes me go, did you not train smarter early, earlier in your career? No, I did. Yeah, I, I mean, it wasn't, but it was just like you got you got injuries or you got anything. It's just like push, 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 and you keep going. And I came from a wrestling background, so that's, that's kind of the mentality is that you just keep going. And uh, you have to. It's just there's just there's times when you need to focus on technique and, and really and, gain, and, and your strategy and things like things such as that. And uh, it's – take some time to to really to to notice i mean it's it's kind of the, the evolution of the sport i think like we're, we can't go in there and try to kill yourself every day it's like you gotta just be smarter about it um really step up the strength and conditioning and really like clean up the diet and just everything that goes into it um and, and it's 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 paying paying dividends in terms of cleaning up your diet now being at 205 is the next uh week uh the roughest uh, week of camp because now it's about the uh, the cutting of the weight. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's uh, it's getting it's easier and easier, honestly, every time. And uh, like, I, I don't let myself get too too high after, um, like like from the last fight, I didn't get too too high. But there's gonna be a be a couple of days. I'll do the water load and everything. There'll be a couple of days that are they're definitely gonna be pretty painful, but not too crazy, man. It's not too bad. I just try to eat clean consistently. You know, the guys will always talk about eating clean, and, and there's certain foods that you just you just hate to eat, but you, you know that it's the type of stuff you need to put in your body. Is there a yeah. certain type of food that, man, you just know if it's on the on the menu, you, you just you're gonna hate it? Oh yeah, if I have the option. I mean, usually it's it's pretty simple. I mean, it's the, it's the basics: hamburgers, pizza, that kind of stuff. When I see it, man, I don't, I can't. It's hard to control myself, but uh, so I do my best to stay away, man. Just stay stay at home, eat at home. Once you make weight, do you is is there a go to uh, meal item or is it you can't get can't dive into that till after the fight's over? Oh no no yeah usually after till till the fight's over man I try to keep it pretty clean. It's uh yeah it's like once I started really eating clean it's like now I could tell a difference like once once I do eat something bad man just kind of get a little lethargic and and such as that so I'll eat clean but after the fight man it's it's going down. Anyone looks at your record, they'll see four wins by decision, two wins uh, by submission. Mm. Uh, are you hunting for that knockout win? I am, man. I honestly, like, I, I'd like to get it. I'm not not necessarily hunting for it, but it, I'll definitely take it if if if, if it's there, man. I'd I'd love to get it. Love to get one, man. It's, so I think it's it's about it's due. It, it, when having you know four fights in your in your career here that have already gone to decision, do you try to look at the bright side of that? Of fact, of hey, it, it's given me you know, some cage time. I mean, obviously you want to go out there and, and be as dominant. And if you can win in one minute, you'd love to win in one minute. Yeah. But you try to look at the positive aspects of, hey, you know what? I've got a lot of cage time in, so maybe I, I've aged a little quicker than maybe someone who, who uh, somebody else who has six fights. Yeah, no, it's it's definitely uh, – I mean, it's frustrating at the time. I mean, yeah, anybody wants to – you want to get the big finish, the highlight finish. And uh, it's like I know earlier in my career that's what I was uh, – I was kind of still keeping that wrestling style where you kind of just you hold them, you hold you get into a dominant position, and you stay there, um, and that's something I've been working on a lot too, man. Really, just opening up in those positions. Like once once you get to that, once you get somewhere where you can't finish it, like like do do the job. Um, but yeah, it's I'm, I got to. I mean, you take everything as a positive. Try to keep um, think positive. So it's uh, it is good to have the cage time, the experience, and and no, I can go. I can go full full fifteen. And uh, and feel good, feel pretty good after the after I go three rounds. So it's like I I could actually go more. So so three to five minutes. Uh, that part's good. I have confidence in my cardio. I have confidence in, in my technique that I can, I can make it through. When you're in that dominant position, where I mean, you know, hey, look, I could ride this thing out, and you know, I'm going to win the round, whatnot. How do you mm. balance that line of knowing when the appropriate time is to to maybe take a risk that could lead to a finish? Well, that's, um, that is, uh, I mean, that's, that's what it's about, man. That's, uh, it's kind of, you got to catch your breath. And, and once, once you see, if you see you're doing damage or you see, you see it's, uh, something's open, man, you just got to take it. Like I know if the, 
I've had that that problem in the, in the past where like maybe the submission might be there and I just keep grinding on it, grinding on it, trying to and it's just trying to force something that's not there. So I think it really is a uh, like once you see the opportunity, it's just seizing that that opportunity. Once you see it, you got to take it. When you're working on your jujitsu, do you prefer gi or no gi? Oh no gi, hundred percent, man. I, I do. I, I've been in the gi. I trained a lot in the gi. Um, it's a uh, it's a different that's it adds a whole another element though it really is it could be a weapon man it's a tool or a weapon usually for me it ends up being a weapon against me so is your more thought of no gi is because of hey look on fight night i'm not wearing a gi oh i mean yeah i mean it's that and just also i mean i wrestle for a long time i feel a lot faster in the gi like i can move a little quicker don't get caught up on things um but it's definitely i mean i i, I don't I, I do like the gi but i mean i just if i had the two I, i'm gonna take no gi every time one of the questions I love to always ask guys, especially the first time we have an opportunity to talk, is what is the best night you've had in this sport? Oh, man. Um, honestly, man, it's a legacy. I, I won, When I won a legacy, legacy fight by submission, man, it was a pretty good uh, – it was a pretty good feeling, man. It was it was good, and it, it just keeps getting better, man. It's, uh, it's, it's usually every time I get in there. So the competition, and it's it's I love testing myself, and uh, I'm trying to do it at the highest level, man. So it's uh, honestly, it's it's still a ride, man. It just keeps getting better. I, I know you're always searching out for that A plus performance. Do you think you've had that performance yet? Honestly, not not yet, man. Not yet. I'm uh, it's like I still need. I still like you said. I, I want. I'd like to have knockouts, man. I'd like to get get some things going, man. I I, uh, I don't think I've I've hit I've hit where I want to be just yet. So, I definitely will, though. For the fans who are going to be in tents uh, next Saturday night in Sarasota, uh, any predictions on what they're going to see in your fight? Uh, hopefully, man. There's a lot of things I've been working on, man. So it's, uh, I'm going to be trying to put them together. And uh, yeah, just just excitement. That's what that's what going to be. They're going to be in for it, man. A gotcha. good, a really good show. As uh, someone who is is from Florida, just like yourself, how, how do you handle the uh, winners of Colorado? Oh man, that's uh, took a little while to get used to. They really did. I mean, it's uh, the weather out here. As, as you know, the weather in Florida is crazy, man. <laughs> but out here, I, I really have seen it all. It's uh, snowing in the morning, be sunshine in the afternoon, raining at night. It's it's crazy, man. But it's uh, it's actually starting to get a little bit nicer now. So so I'll enjoy that. You know what it's like in Florida. It hits like sixty degrees, and, and we we're pulling all the winter clothes out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's. <laughs> Here, here as well, man. You had to get as soon as first thing got first thing I had to get were the the jackets and the long johns and then the everything, man. Just just dress for it and it's okay. And uh, of course, we got this fight coming up here. Where can uh, my uh, listeners follow you out on social media? Um, just uh, I, I mean everything under Nick Rourke on Twitter, on uh, Instagram, on Facebook, everything just Nick Rourke. Um, Instagram is N Rourke, and uh, that's it, man. Just love to talk to anybody. Are are you more of a Instagram person, a Twitter person, a Facebook person? Um, actually, I mean, I haven't really. Uh, in the, I, it's still all pretty, pretty new to me, man. I uh, I just I recently got it. Um, manager kind of made me. They cornered me, made me, made me get all this stuff. So I'm still kind of new to all of it. But uh, yeah, it's not too. I mean, it's it can be con- very time consuming. It's all, so, it's all bar about promoting your promoting your brand, I guess you'd say. Yeah, yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, I guess it's it's part of it. it's part of it. So, so I'm trying I'm trying trying to get better at it. And of course, uh, your fight coming up here next Saturday night, April first in Sarasota, Florida. Nick, I appreciate the time and good luck in the fight. All right, man. Thank you very much.